Hi everyone. I just want to take the time to share something with you. You know, one of the best things about being spiritually awakened is you get downloads or epiphany moments, if you want to describe it as. If you're wondering, this is who's in my lap making a bunch of noise. And yeah, you get these epiphany moments, and you ever hear somebody tell that something that is true and factual, when they hear it, it hits them like a truck or it hits them like a ton of bricks. Yeah, I can't believe many persons didn't realize this before, but it hit me a while ago when I saw this little puppy. Now, I thought this puppy loved me because I played with it. I thought the puppy loved me because I feed it food. I thought the puppy loved me because I give it protection, I give it a home, I give it everything that it needs to survive. Well, and also it's, it's mom. And I realize all those answers are wrong. The reason why this puppy will run and come jump and hug me up and play with me and wag its tail, no matter what time of day, no matter what time of night, they'll always be happy to see me. They'll always love me. They'll always have their highlight of the day being me playing with them. The reason being or the reason behind all of this is because I'm vibrating at a frequency that she can sense because even though you see animals as soulless or whatever you want to believe or not smart animals are very smart animals are teachers for us because they can actually help us to find out more about ourselves because they are naturally connected to nature their soul is pure they don't have any evil or any mal intent for you it's just pure love the reason why the puppy loves me is because I'm on a, a love frequency, I'm vibrating on a love frequency and whenever he come or she comes around me, she can feel that, feel that frequency. It's like, it's like contagious where when you come near me, you feel the love or you feel the heat or the warmth coming off of me. And because uh, it is so intoxicating, it's like a drug, they're going to be happy because we're on the same frequency, we're vibrating on the same love frequency. And it made sense to me because that's why relationships don't work out. Remember, there are frequencies that we can vibrate on that are lower, such as sadness, regret, um, depression, all those bad moods. And there are higher frequencies such as happiness, joyful, thankfulness, um, acceptance, um, love, peace. Those are higher frequencies. There's a reason why different persons have issues with relationships and also it's comes from the years and decades of brainwashing and subliminal messages that have been in our media and in our TV and our movies and music but that's a story for another day the reason why relationships don't work out is because persons are on different frequencies what's wrong? you okay? so imagine me being on a very sad droopy down frequency and this puppy being on a happy frequency where if I could take out the puppy two things can happen either the puppy would uh, react to my um, low vibrational fre frequency and start playing with me like what she's doing right now and that would in tune raise my frequency to where I'm gonna feel happy and start smiling and laugh and say what are you doing or it can be a sense where the puppy will sense my low energy and keep its distance or just not do anything at all when they see me energy is contagious and the moment you realize that we are energy, energetic beings, we are made of light, we are formless, we are just in this body, this avatar, this meat suit for a temporary moment. And uh, this little meat suit is just a temporary housing for our soul, our spirit, our essence. Our soul is actually who we are, not this, not this that you can see and feel and touch. The real us is our soul, our spirit, our light inside. Yeah, she's playing. And uh, the moment we realize that life is going to make so much sense. The, the brainwashing that we've um, gotten through music and movies and TV shows, it's crazy. Even, even music. Think, think about a song like, um, what's a good example? I'm not even sure what example off the top of my head. But there are many examples of songs that if you should listen to the root message or the root um, phrasing of the words, behind what the artist is saying you say to yourself the song sounds upbeat but it's not giving the message that i'm thinking it's an opposite message altogether 
you ever hear some songs that sound happy and upbeat but they're very depressing and sad and some very um, sad songs that you can actually listen to because you're on a lower frequency you match the frequency that you're experiencing so if you're feeling sad and stressed and down you can either listen to sad and stressed music on the same frequency or you can listen to upbeat positive good music on a higher frequency and that in turn will raise your frequency to the level that it once was things people places th um food um animals these are different things that can have different frequencies so if you're sad and you're happy whenever you eat ice cream ice cream increases your frequency to a higher level where you start to smile you start to dance you want to say yes ice cream time yeah so let me tell you this now if everything is energy and we're energetic beings why would you allow people to steal your energy hmm let me say it again why would you allow things people places animals and things to steal your energy they're stealing your essence they're stealing your being they're stealing what makes you an eternal being your soul your soul is made up of energy our energy is what they want us for the movie the matrix was not a movie that's giving you up in your face exactly what's going on they raise us they they brainwash us to think how they want us to think because they want us to work for them they want to use us up because we're eternal beings so they feed off our energy because they are keeping us on a certain vibration and they're feed, they're absorbing all that energy and they're also giving us that doctrination to work and sacrifice time for money so they're making even more profit from us so they're taking energy from our soul and they're taking energy from our life our avatars um work remember slavery was abolished was it no it just changed and had a different name and a different color and a different presentation it's the very same thing they want you to work and sacrifice yourself for their gain they want you to work and give everything they own everything they own your family your job your pets your children they own everything and they want all all of it they own it and they want all of it you see how crazy that is so when persons get spiritually awakened and they start to wake up and see and they say hey that shouldn't be happening or that's that's how did that get to that stage people sound crazy because you're talking something that's not um normal and as kanye west said i'm not gonna stop calling him the truth is going to sound crazy in a world full of lies guys i don't even want this video to be too long but so can't so can't find that let let let, let that soak in your, in your spirit and listen to the words so i'm here with my puppy you want to say bye yeah, I'm going to do a part two. But yeah, guys, don't let them steal your energy. I love you. Continue to grow. Open your eyes and be your best version of yourself. I'm light of the darkness and one love. All right. True, authentic love. When I say I love you, I mean it because I am you. You are me. We are all gods and goddesses. All right. I love you guys. Yes. And we love you too, puppy.